In this example, I need to find the equation in standard form of the circle with the center at 1, negative 2 and a radius of 4 units. Then I need to graph the circle and find its domain and range. So quickly reviewing, the standard form of an equation of a circle with the center at hk and a radius r is given by this equation here. In this case, we know the center. The center takes on the variables h and k. So I know the x-coordinate of the center h is going to equal positive 1. The y-coordinate of the center k is going to equal negative 2. And the radius r is going to equal 4 units. So now all I have to do is plug these variables into this equation. So I get the quantity x minus h, so it's x minus 1 all squared, plus the quantity y minus k, so that's y minus k is a negative 2, so you have y minus negative 2 all squared equals r squared, r is 4, so that's 4 squared. Simplifying, I get x minus 1 all squared plus, what's y minus a negative 2? It's y plus 2 all squared equals 4 squared equals 16. So there is the equation of this circle in standard form. Now I need to graph the circle. So we graph the center first. x is 1, y is negative 2. There's my center. There are an infinite number of points on a circle, but there are four easy points to graph. And you're going to go up, down, left, and right the radius. The radius is four units, so you go up four, one, two, three, four. Down four, one, two, three, four. Left four, one, two, three, four. And finally, right four, one, two, three, four. And then you try and draw something roughly circular through these points. Now it's very hard to graph on this tablet, so you'll have to excuse my circles. They never look very circular. And that's about the best I can do. And lastly, I need to find the domain and the range for this circle. Remember, domain are the x values. So my circle, if I come in from negative infinity in the x direction, this is the first x value I meet, which is at negative 3. There is a point where x equals negative 3, so you use a square bracket. My domain goes from negative 3 all the way to 5 with a square bracket. The range of the y values. So coming in from negative infinity, the first y value I hit is negative 6. So I have square bracket negative 6 all the way up to this y value, which is positive 2. So there is the domain and the range of this circle.